Welcome back. Lyndon Montero may file fresh anticipatory bail in Bombay High Court on Wednesday. Earlier, Lyndon Montero withdrew his anticipatory bail due to technical error on Tuesday. Prosecution, too, did not object to this withdrawal. Meanwhile, the hearing on Miki Pacheco's anticipatory bail is expected on Wednesday. High Court on Tuesday allowed petitioner to withdraw Lyndon Montero's anticipatory bail plea. High Court had asked Lyndon to be present in the court on 17th of June at the time of hearing. But on Tuesday, Lyndon's advocate withdrew his bail on technical error. Lyndon may file fresh anticipatory bail in Bombay High Court on Wednesday. We had filed an application for withdrawal of the anticipatory bail application which was filed by the mother of, the, uh, by mother of Lyndon. And it has been allowed to be withdrawn by the High Court, Simplicita, because uh, we have pointed out to the court that uh, there was probably an error and uh, we wish to file a new one or uh, we want to withdraw this uh, for the reasons uh, mentioned in the application. When the matter was registered, even after 304 was added, Linden was not an accused at all. It is only after the minister is not available that the Linden has been made as an accused overnight. This is what we have pointed out to the court that in, in such situations, the liberty of the applicant, that is Linden, should not be curtailed. So, uh, that would be in violation of Article 21 of the Constitution. So what happens next? Uh, next is we have to wait. Now we will decide either to file and go ahead with a new application or uh, we will see what else is, what other options available to us. Accused and co-accused in this case, that is Mickey and Linden, are still not traced. The crime branch is investigating this case. Mickey has also applied for anticipatory bail in the High Court. The hearing on the bail plea is expected on Wednesday. A principal correspondent Murari Shetty with video journalist Sushan Pearl for Prudent Media. The world's famous holiday destination is now becoming Southeast Asia's most romantic destination and Goa government is all set to tap this romance. Tourism department has introduced new packages for this monsoon season and topping the list is honeymoon package. Now couples can enjoy their honeymoon at reasonable rates in this Indian paradise. GTDC is offering three packages for this rainy season, Monsoon Honeymoon, Honeymoon Glee and Serene Delights. Tourists can enjoy the beautiful monsoon in Goa through these packages. Tourism Director Nikhil Desai briefed us more on the packages. So these are the three packages which are doing quite well among the people who want to visit Goa during the monsoon season. And uh, these packages are aimed at providing tourists wholesome experience about Goan monsoon, staying in different residencies on the beaches, etc. Then we take them on North Goa, South Goa tour, we take them on a cruise, we take them to different places in Goa, temples, churches, mosques, etc. The honeymoon package is doing quite well. Uh, we have got beautiful locations on the beach, we have got it in interland like Mayam Lake, etc. So among our, all our 12 residencies, uh, we sh shuffle the people between interland and beach. So in a way, Amka uh, internet do promote Karpak Taji Madhat Data. So uh, they are doing quite well. Desa informed us that response from domestic tourists is more as compared to the foreign tourist. He also informed us that these packages are getting good response as one can book and confirm their packages online. Top 10 Kharcha countries are in India. First is India, the second is the US, the third is Australia, my Great Britain, my UAE, Singapore, France, Saudi Arabia, Germany, Japan. But the most preferred package is the honeymoon package. The land of sea, sun and scent is all set to welcome the blooming love. It is always said that marriages are made in heaven. Well, we can only say that you have a choice to decide your own honeymoon destination. And you can definitely have it in the paradise of East. A reporter from Panji Laukik Shilkar with video journalist Sushant Pearl. The Goa bench of Bombay High Court on Monday made it clear that though the government has inherent powers to appoint employees on superannuation, this power is limited and should be used on case-to-case -case basis. The judgment is expected to curtail the mass appointment of state government employees on superannuation. Kashina Chiete and others have filed a writ petition in the High Court challenging action against the government for appointing employees by giving extension in service or on contract basis. In a 54 pages judgment, High Court has cleared that government has powers to appoint employees on superannuation. This power is limited and should be used on case-to-case -case basis. The High Court has recognized 
the power of the government the by holding that the government has inherent power in granting extension in service or in making contractual appointments of a officer after his retirement high court has also observed and specifically i'll quote you what the high court says because this was what was our argument before the high court that the government is quite aware of its powers and government in fact has been from time to time issuing office memorandums that extensions should not be granted unless absolutely necessary high court has also said that it can examine the matter if any particular case is cited before the bench so in other words high court has given ki hame kono ki am government kono ki extension dile power out ga tumhe to power sar ko exercise kela kai na this can be exercised by the, examined by the high court if appropriate case is brought before the high court this is in short and do i am very long here but this is in short the summary of the high court judgment that government has power in a given case it will have to be examined a principal correspondent muradi shethe with video journalist anil sanadi for prudent media illegal hill cutting site was inspected by flying squad at bob kola kaurim on tuesday residents of kaurim had complained about illegal hill cutting in their area squad has issued a show cause notice to the owner flying squad inspected the site after the inspection they have sent a show cause notice to the owner christopher futado from naveli they have issued a show cause notice to the owner and have asked to submit relevant documents the first and foremost once we see any cutting is going on okay or cutting is done we have to issue a show cause notice and he is supposed to reply within 24 hours to uh, our uh, ccb uh, district office marga luel fernandez resident of sandor had complained about the cutting to the flying squad on the complaint of mine you know this flying squad has to reach to sandor at kavagi at the site you know and they on inspection you know the supervisor came and reported you know trying to say that this official thing that is going on as far as to my knowledge goes the kumdad has not kumdad who are the owners of the place has not given any permission to anybody to carry out such activity so on on, on the basis of my complaint you know this flying squad has come and they have asked them to produce the papers within within 24 hours a reporter from chandor mayur naik it's time for yet another short break stay tuned